welcome back to a brand spanking new video. I am so intrigued for today's video and I feel like you'll be intrigued too. So let's see how this sucker pans out. I'm gonna be using a nutritionist meal plan for a week. Now I very much am someone, and I've said this in so many videos, you've got to find what works for you. Not everybody is the same. And being someone online, I always get people's opinions of what I should eat, what I shouldn't eat, how I should change this in my diet, how I should change that. So I thought someone who probably knows best is a nutritionist. So I'm gonna follow a nutritionist diet, see how it affects me. So it's day one today and we're gonna get started on brekkie. Now brekkie is a good one because it's banana pancakes, which I feel like, how can you go that one with banana pancakes? Whilst the pancakes are cooking in the back, I'm actually gonna prepare my pudding for tonight because some of these things take a bit of preparation which is chocolate chia pudding not bossing for it but i'm open because you never know i might love it so i'm just going to pop all of the ingredients in a tub and then we put it in the fridge quite simple uh chia pudding is done i'm gonna put that in the fridge <laughs> Right guys, so we have our breakfast, which actually looks like quite a good little portion. Um, and she said you can add maple syrup and berries, but if I'm honest, I don't really like berries with my pancakes, like a coolie. It wasn't like fresh berries, it was a coolie. So I'm going for this, let's give it a taste. Hmm, the birds are popping off up there. It's okay, they're not my favorite pancakes ever, but I would eat them again. But there is an element of like eggy bread, kind of tastes like eggy bread. I can deal with it. Hi Banks, you wanna say hi? Hi guys, this week I'm just eating my kibble, as usual. And she also said to drink loads of water, which I've not been doing. So, yeah. Well, that was actually quite nice. I did get a bit bored of it towards the end, but I can confirm I'm full. I'm ready to start my day. Right guys, I've actually just looked at the meal plan for the week and it says to meal prep the Moroccan chickpea stew. So I'm gonna make that now and then it will just be in the fridge ready for any of the meals that I need it for. Um, so I'm gonna get this on the go. It kind of is just like a classic Moroccan chickpea stew. There's nothing too um, obscure in there. I mean, it does have dates in it, which I pro probably wouldn't normally put, but it's a similar recipe to the ones I've used before. Right, guys, I'm prepping my lunch. It's got a whole can of tuna on this salad, which I would never normally have that much, that's a lot. And I've just made the dressing as well. Right, here is lunch. It is a massive salad. I personally do enjoy salad, but it has to have a lot in it. Like it has to have crunch, it has to have everything. I probably would have added maybe some seeds or some almonds, but all in all, it looks all right. Um, but just a lot of tuna. Right guys, that's me. Really and truly, that's too much tuna. Too much. You will not be the end of me. Right guys, I'm having snack time. Snack. Right, it's just carrots and hummus. It's carrots and hummus time, let's go. Let's go. I actually haven't had carrots and hummus in ages. Do you want one? No. Well, it's quite good. Mmm, I forgot to have a good bit of carrot and hummus is. Delish. So for dinner, I had the Moroccan chickpea stew, gobbled it up. Well, actually I didn't end up gobbling up, which you'll see in a minute. Guys, I got a little bit bored of that one. I think I think it's because it's not really my thing. Um, but I ate it and- She persevered. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it was. I just don't really, I'm not really into it. It just kind of was a bit like repetitive. Hey guys, this is the chia pudding. It does kind of look like frog spawn. I've never actually met anyone that actually likes chia pudding. I've never met a real human that likes it. So she said you can add fruit on top. So here we go, I have added fruit on top. And we're gonna give it a go. I'm having an open mind. It does actually look, it looks like nice frog spawn. Right, what do we think guys? Am I gonna like it? No. You're gonna make I think you'll like it. I think you're gonna make Have it, get some places. banana with it. Yeah, I'm gonna get some banana. And go for little, little mouthfuls. Mm. Mm. Textures, textures. 
<laughs> so you wouldn't be able to go when I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> this won't go down. That's because you took such a massive mouthful. I just can't swallow it. It's really delicious. It it's good for your bowels, because it looks it's like a bowel like movement. <laughs> you know what? That wasn't actually as bad as that I was making out. Why don't you get into the flow of it? It's actually all right. It's, it was okay, because apparently it's really good for calcium. It's really good for your bones. Right guys, I actually feel very like, I feel good now. I was just being a bit dramatic, it's in our own okay? I feel satisfied, I feel good, I feel ready. And I'm actually going to be preparing my breakfast for tomorrow. This has got uh, oats in it. And if you've been on my channel a long time, you'll know that I'm not the biggest oat lover. The only oats I like are when they're like baked into something and you don't know they're oats, it basically, when it tastes like cake. Um, but we're going to give these overnight oats a go, see how they are. So I'm just mashing it up. We have to prepare it now. And then we... I just dropped my banana all over the floor. <laughs> it's not meant to be. How sad is that? This should be good because it's got banana and peanut butter. And I like banana and peanut butter. Honestly, Manny Life is, I think, my favourite peanut butter ever. Um, I'm a bit confused because it says on the recipe to add the oatmeal, cinnamon, chia seeds and sea salt but the recipe doesn't actually have chia seeds in it so I'm like do I just add a tablespoon of chia seeds for good measure? Good morning! It is day two of this little meal plan, meal prep so we are going to grab... oh hi Banks! You just show me some love are you? You just show me some love? So we have got our um oats that we prepared last night let's see what's happening in here it's not as thick as i thought it would be to be honest i'm gonna give it a mix okay so i've mixed it all together and this is what it looks like it does look all right actually let's see if we can convince a porridge hater um that this is good it's a lot to get my head around but it's not bad i just am a real a texture person and it's not my favorite texture i've ever consumed Right, we have finished our overnight oats, and I mean, they were all right. Hi guys, it's dinner time. I'm just making dinner. I've made this, which is the dressing for our salad, and it tastes delicious. This is so good. It's made from avocados, and it's so, so scrumptious. I've got the pistachio salmon in the oven and the rice, and I'm really excited for dinner tonight. I won't lie, I did have lunch out because we were going out to our friends and I wasn't going to be like, sorry, can I bring my Moroccan chickpea stew? They, were, they made chicken wraps and it was really delicious. I'm really excited for dinner tonight. This is so yummy. I want to eat it just like by the spoonful, to be honest with you. This looks delish and really nice. Honestly, this avocado stuff is so good and this pistachio salmon, it looks so sublime. Wow, I know for sure that I like the avocado thing. So let's try this pistachio salmon. Mmm, that is delicious. Wow, the flavour. flavour of everything works so well. I'm really I'm going to enjoy this. I'm here for it. Quite the turnaround from yesterday's dinner. <laughs> that was absolutely sensational. Hit the spot in every sense of the word. Cleared the decks. Almost tasted like a restaurant meal. I will say, honestly, pistachio salmon, guys. Give it a whirl. The flavours work so fantastically together. <coughs> I am sad to notify you that for pudding, we have something that I do not personally classify as pudding. We've got an apple and peanut butter. I think that's not pudding. Like a nice fruit salad with loads of different fruit, but an apple, that's not after you've had pudding, do you know what I mean? But we're not here to knock it because I really enjoyed my dinner. It was delicious and I actually feel quite satisfied. Like I don't feel very hungry. Oh, I feel really good. Good morning, Bikini Bottom. Another day, another bowl of oats. Um, which just kept me actually quite filled up yesterday, so I feel like I'm ready to have it again. It's not my favourite texture in the world, but I just think, hey, get it down, ya. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to eat this. It's just very repetitive, which is weird because I love soup. So I don't get it. It's like, do I chew it? Do I just swallow it whole? <laughs> Ta-da! I feel like I got the knack of eating it. It's just I can't work my head around it. 
texture it's all off i'm a very textured person which is why i think i enjoyed the salmon and rice and the salad because it's like there's a lot happening lunch time is yesterday's leftovers the salad with the dressing rice and some salmon and i am so in the mood for this it's a hot day it's literally the most perfect day to be eating this um and i'm really in the mood for it and i'm hungry and i'm ready to party i really like how that took no time at all they do the dinners so you can have them for lunch the next day and I feel like that's a really good idea. So it doesn't take any time for you. You literally just zap it in the microwave. So, delish. Chef's kiss. It started off bad this week, but it just keeps going up and up. That was, oh, I've got guacamole. Oh, heck. Guys, it's snack time. I'm so happy with how this week is turning out. It started off so badly, but now I'm really, um, I'm really into this and I feel like full, I feel energized, I'm feeling good. So it's carrot and hummus today. So here we go. Perfect. And it's really warm out. So this is like really refreshing, cold. I'm into it, I'm really into it. Hello everybody. I'm making dessert for tonight, which are these banana bread bites, which look really good. Um, so I'm just blitzing up a quarter cup of mature dates um, and then we add in all of our bananas what we do without blenders because i feel like literally every recipe is like can you grab a blender and just blend this up for me please i hate these bits the banana piss <laughs> life hack i've got loads of coconut oil on my hand so i'm just gonna rub it in and then it's like a moisturizer we have the mixture here and i'm gonna blob it on the baking tray then we press in chocolate chips and then we're done. Right, this is what they look like before the oven. Finished! Guys, look at this stonking another meal. Spinach, carrot, no, spinach and lentil curry. That looks really yummy. It does. Yeah, I'm into that. I'll take it, I'll take it. Right, guys, dinner was a success. Loved it. Fill me up, it was good. And now I'm gonna try one of these banana bites. Let's see what they're like. Quite pleasant, actually. Thumbs up from me. My banana bread bites were sensational actually. Really like those. Thoroughly enjoyed. Wow, today was a good one. 10 out of 10. No, you said seven. <coughs> Bless me, I did say seven for dinner. And I'd probably say eight for the banana bread bites. Good morning, everyone. Today is a new day. I'm feeling really good this morning because I actually haven't slept that well this week. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just a coincidence or if it's actually anything to do with the food or whatever. Um, but I woke up today at 8.20, which is really nice. And I'm making brekkie to now, which is a kale breakfast skillet, which is basically just kale and egg. So, intrigued how it will go. Yesterday was a roaring success, so I'm feeling confident. Okay, so I've just popped the kale. It's like a party of kale. What's going on in here, guys? And it says to season it with... Salt. So I'm just gonna go with a bit of the flaky sea salt. Why does salt taste so much better when it's flaky? I don't know. Don't ask me. And it's pepper. Our kale has cooked quite a bit. And then it says to add between two and three eggs. Like I like the fact that it's not super, it's not super strict. It's not like you have to have one carrot and one teaspoon of hummus. It's like hummus and carrots. Do you know what I mean? Because as I would say, everybody's different, needs different things. And I like that this caters for that. Okay, so here are the pesto eggs. Spread it on like toast. <laughs> really loved that. Honestly, she's redeeming herself. At the start, didn't start so strong, but we're working back. Guys, I'm really in the mood for like a, a little snack. And normally, I don't think about it, I just do it. And I really want myself a snack. I want like a a cookie or something. Mike, really want a snack. Hi guys, because I can't stop thinking about it, I'm gonna have these, which are my favorite things at the moment. The Bonville chocolate toffee. They're like Bonville chocolate toffees. They're so good. I'm about to sneeze. Um, I never normally like think this much about it. Like I was literally just editing. And I was like, I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. And I feel like, you just got to give yourself the thing you're thinking about. Do you know what I mean? Normally, I never like craving something that much. 
but I have to. So I hope that this will just like get it out of my mind once I've had this, because then I've had a sweet treat. Sometimes you're just gonna give it yourself, you know, otherwise you won't stop thinking about it. And then, you know, it's just about time. Okay guys, that did tide me over. And now for lunch we have um, what we had for dinner last night, which is the lentil stew thing with some rice. Just had my lunch. I'm really hungry today, like really hungry. And normally obviously, if I, this was just a normal day of eating, I would eat whatever my body needs. So just like have whatever I feel like I want. Um, but because I am so hungry, I'm actually gonna have my afternoon snack now. It could be a bad decision, but whatever. So today is these banana bread bites um, for our afternoon snack. So I'm just gonna have them as my dessert. And hopefully, that will tide me over for a bit. They're actually really good, you know. I think these are quite fun. Yay! Nice. Last night, something happened. Um, I went out for dinner with my friend, and it was incredible. We went to Pizza Express, and I got my favourite thing on the whole entire menu, which is a Lorraine. Beautiful. And then we got chocolate cake after. And I don't regret one single bit of it. I mean, I regret it because this week was supposed to be the meal plan, which it technically is, but I'm sorry. But if you can't go out and enjoy a meal with your friends, that's a life not worth living. Like you wanna be able to go out, enjoy life, be able to order the heckin' pizza. Um, and I'm sorry, but one meal isn't gonna affect your whole week. Do you know what I mean? So um, I just thought I'd be transparent and honest because I've technically not done the full meal plan because I went out for dinner. But it's like, what else am I supposed to do? I wasn't gonna bring my own Tupperware and sit in Pizza Express as I'm shoveling broccoli into my mouth. No, thank you. And now we're gonna do the last day. Day five, people, day five. Which we have for breakfast, apple cinnamon oatmeal. Not buzzed to try this one because we all know I don't like oatmeal. But what I'm thinking, I'm actually gonna do it with ready break because it's a texture thing. So I like ready break texture. So I'm gonna add everything like it's ready break. By the way, if you're from another country and you don't know what ready break is, it is just basically blended up oats, but that's literally all that it is. It will be like the same exact recipe, but just with finely blended oats, because that's what I prefer. Ta -da! You guys who like porridge are really an elite breed. I wish I liked it. Um, but let's give it a try and see if it's what it's like. Mm, so much better than porridge. Delish. Ready break is so much better than normal oats, okay? You can't tell me otherwise. Also, I actually am really enjoying the food that I've been eating. So much more than the start of the week, so I'm into that. Hi guys, it is lunchtime. I'm already getting into the flow of this five days in. It definitely took some time to warm up. I just feel like the recipes are yummy, they're really easy, um, and they're delicious and nutritious. I'm really into them. So what we're making now is our Buddha bowl, which is what we would have had last night, obviously if I didn't go out for pizza, but it's all about balance, everything in moderation, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just making that would be the kale. It said to use up anything that you have in the fridge. And I had a lot of kale in the fridge. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna use the kale up. We've roasted some sweet potato and um, with some herbs and spices. Let me get my kale bear with. And it, yeah, it's really easy. I love kind of how easy all the recipes are, but they're still yet delicious. So I'm kind of getting more and more into this as time goes on. The only thing that I've not been the biggest fan of is the breakfast options. But I'm thinking that's because I feel like breakfast is the meal of the day that I really have got down in my life. Okay, so we have got here a little tahini dressing. So it's got like tahini, olive oil, I think, lemon, garlic, all that good stuff. And it says to add the beans of choice. She used chickpeas, but I'm more of a black bean kind of girl. So I'm just gonna go and drain these and then add them. Much more enticing when you add a bean. I don't know why beans just make it look better, don't it? Pretty good, guys. Pretty good going. That was yummy. And I always need to finish with a bit of sweet. And I think my snack, it's really weird having someone else depict what you should and shouldn't eat. It's really bizarre. Um, I think my snack is banana bed bread bites. Um, and I actually prefer having, <coughs> I actually prefer having them as pudding. I always need something sweet. 
And then if I have something sweet, then I won't need a snack. Do you hear what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have the iconic banana bread bites. I'm gonna have some of these for my dessert. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm getting into this the longer it goes on. Hi guys, so it's Friday evening and I've got my last meal. I'm meal prepped, meal prep greeny, which is actually, again, looks really 10 out of 10. This is Mediterranean chicken, pepper, potato, all that. It looks really, really delicious. So I'm buzzing to eat this. I've had so much fun doing this. It's really been a journey. Dramatic queen at the start. Um, but now I feel like I've really enjoyed the end. I will just say, I think one of the reasons that it worked with the nutritionist meal plan is because, like I said, it didn't have any restrictions. Like, it wasn't like, you can't eat this, you can't eat this, you can't eat this, because I never think that works, because it just makes you want that thing more. It had, like, it did have snacks, it had sweets, it wasn't literally just like, here is lettuce. It had really filling, lovely, hearty nutritionist, nutritional meals, but then it also had the sweet things when you want the sweet things. Um, so I actually really enjoyed it. The only thing I do miss is like the freedom to do what I want. I haven't actually noticed any changes in myself, but that's probably because like I found what works for my body um, and what works for my body like keeps me going, do you know what I mean? So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Maybe I should pay like an actual nutritionist to give me a meal plan. Cause obviously I'm not the average height. I walk a lot and things. So I wonder if it like takes into account that. So that'll be very interesting. I hope you enjoyed. Love you all loads. Subscribe if you wanna. I've also got my apple and peanut butter for my dessert. Um, I love you all loads. Peace out, punks.